first remove six screws which hold the case together. Inside you will find two SATA cables, power cable, SATA controller, info card and screws. Then remove the HDD mounting bracket by removing another six screws. Place your hard drives into the bracket and secure each of them with six countersunk head screws. If you are looking from the front, the high drives connectors must be on the right side of the bracket. Put the bracket with the hard drives back to the case and secure them with six screws again. Now we have the NAS box prepared for the installation of the Turisomnia board. So let's disassemble the original Turisomnia case and remove the board out of it. Remove six screws to disassemble the box. Remove the plexers and pigtails using a wrench number 8. Please note how are the diplexers and pigtails interconnected with Wi-Fi cards. It is important. Remove five screws which hold the board in the case. Remove the board out of the case as well as the rubber sheet below. Remove two blanking plugs from the case. Now we have everything what we need to install to the NAS box. At first install the rubber sheet and the blanking plugs. Then move the spacers to the position closest to the third mini PCI Express slot. Install the Turisomnia board to the NAS box and secure it with five screws. Now install the SATA controller to the third mini PCI Express slot. Now install back the pigtail and diplexers and connect them to the Wi-Fi cards as you know before. Interconnect the hard drives with the Turisomnia board using two SATA cables and a power cable. The last connector on the power cable can be used for powering a fan, which helps to keep the hard drives cool.
Install the top cover and secure it with the six screws again. 